Now, after months of redemptions, hedge funds have finally seen inflows. Clients added money for the first time since February as managers grappled with extreme trading conditions. Here with the details is Danny Berger. Danny, great to see you. What have you got? Yeah, Nara, back to inflows for hedge funds, though only slightly in May, according to Evestment, they added $1.7 billion. But look, that's peanuts compared to the outflows they saw in the prior two months. $18 billion pulled in April, then more than $24 billion pulled in March during those turbulent markets. So it's still a rough road ahead for hedge funds. Now, we saw that in May, the ones that did the best were credit hedge funds and event-driven hedge funds. Though equities still remain out of favor, Long short funds, for example, still saw net outflows in May. Now, this just shows that you don't really want to pay up, or investors, rather, don't really want to pay up when markets look as rough as they have. And Barclays, they did a survey of their clients trying to assess what hedge fund flows would look like from here on out. And they think $100 billion is going to be pulled from hedge funds for the totality of 2020. Look, this is financial crisis levels. This is, this is investors really turning away from the industry with of course, so many wanting access to liquidity. So it's easy to pull money from these expensive managers. Now, year to date, uh, assets remain around $3 trillion for the entirety of the industry. But look, that's no different than what it what they had in 2014. It's been really stagnant, and it just shows what a struggle it's been. According to Evestment, they have that $3 trillion AUM number, and they say, look, this is no way for an industry to grow and thrive.